note there's a parable that Jesus also spoke about and he was comparing it to the kingdom of God he did not compare it to the world he did not compare this parable to the unsaved people he compared this parable to the kingdom of God he said the kingdom of God is like a master who left his steward to manage his affairs and to give all the servants their due portion of meat in their due season so the master left and he left all his affairs under the uh, management of his steward but the steward recognized that his master was taking very long to come so it, it presupposes that the steward was doing what he was uh, mandated to do until he recognized that his master is taking very long to come he began to squander his master's goods he began to physically beat the male and female servants he began to misuse them and abuse them for his own selfish ambition satisfaction and gratification isn't that happening in the body of Christ today? And mind you, Jesus didn't say this is a parable of the world. He said a parable of the kingdom of God. For the Bible declares that judgment must begin firstly at the house of God. And if we begin first at the house of God, then what would it be like for the world? And if the righteous are scarcely saved then where would the sinner and the ungodly appear let us not take it for granted that we are Christians and we, we are good and we are fixed let's not take it for granted that uh, because I am an apostle or a prophet and I prophesied and came through that we get like a desicle we get complacent and begin to mistreat the body of Christ Now we must acknowledge that Jesus made a clear distinction between the children of this world and the children of light. The children of this world, they are in darkness, not being enlightened with the gospel, yet wiser in their generation. Now the question is, what does this mean to you and me? And what does this say of the children of light what does this say of us the body of Christ and so we cannot go further except we ask this question and understand the meaning of the word generation and I want you to say generation not just write it in the comment box say it just say it to yourself generation but before that let's be clear John chapter 8 verse 12 says then spake Jesus unto them saying I am the light of the world he just said uh, that the children of this world are wiser in their generation than the children of light are in theirs and Jesus said I am the light of the world he that followeth me he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness that is moral obscurity but shall have the light of life now I want you to understand this he said I am the light of the world and if you follow me you will not walk in darkness but you shall have you shall not just walk but you shall have you shall what you shall have the light of life the light of life is Jesus Christ of Nazareth the risen King and that life is tangible it is real he is real and he is eternal life now the word generation say generation the word generation metaphorically it speaks to a group of people very like each other in the endowments and pursuits and character I'm going to say that again. The word generation metaphorically speaks of a group of men, people, uh, nations that are like each other in endowments, in pursuits and character. 
now we don't have time to go into every one of those three things but the word of god describes a generation a a, a, a a group of men or a group of nations ethnicities and they are like each other they are comparable to each other or comparable to each other in endowments whether it be academic, educational, political, ph philosophical endowments, uh, they, they, they go after the same things in pursuits and also in character. But more so, the word generation speaks of an age, like the age that we are living in right now. We are the age of you have heard of the stone age you have heard of the age of industry the industrialization uh, 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 age a generation and the world understand these things children of light listen to me the world understand these things they use terms like first generation and second generation weaponry and third generation technology fourth generation and you're hearing them speaking now of fifth generation they understand these things after world war ii they begin to speak of uh, 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 third generation weaponry after every world war the technology advanced weaponry and the technology of of, of weaponry advanced after every world war after every generation that this world went through there was an advancement in technology science and so forth.